Okay, so uh, just started uh, back day, and what I thought I'd do is I'd just put a, a few short videos together of um, attempting my max lifts. So I've just come up with that as I was starting my uh, back day, just to give you an idea of the sort of uh, lifts that I do. I weigh 70, about 78 kilos. This deadlift now, I pyramided up from 70 kilos to uh, 120 kilos, and this will be 140 kilos, which includes the bar. So we've got a 25, a 15, and a 20 each side, uh, which is 60 kilo each side, and uh, the, the bar weighs 20 kilo as well. Now I've been doing sets of six, so I'm going for a max on this. Uh, the most I've ever done with this in recent times at this body weight is two reps. So I'm gonna go and see if I can equal or beat the two reps. So, here we go, let's go with it. Come on. One. Two. I'll go with three. That's good for me, and that's raw. No belt, no straps, no nothing, just hand grips to just help with the grip, because when you're doing heavy back work, your grip will give out before you, your strength does. So we always use grips on the heavier sets. First two were not too bad. The last one was a real struggle. I thought I might have got four there. But it's always something to build on, one rep, half a kilo extra, whatever the weight, the reps, it's all progress. Uh, the best I've ever done back in the day when I was two and a half stone heavier was uh, four plates a side, which is 180, including the bar. So 78 point something kilos in body weight and raw, uh, 140 is not bad for three reps. I'll try and build on that to six reps before I increase the weight. I don't usually increase the weight until I can get up to the uh, stipulated rep range. I've done uh, bigger, the big exercises like this before for sort of 10, 12 reps. I'm not convinced that uh, over the long term that um, deadlifts are a high rep sort of exercise. So I've gone down to six reps and uh, my strength gains are climbing very steadily but at this body weight I'm never going to get back to uh, to 180 I don't think but you know if I can get six reps with this and I'd keep adding half a kilo on who knows what the future will hold okay so what I've done with squats uh, showing you some of my best lifts back in the day uh, obviously um, two and a half stone heavier than I am now. Um, I've done a lot more than this. What I've had to do in the last eight weeks or so is go back to basics. And I've been doing what I call box squats. So I've got a bench here, you can use a chair. But if I sit, my legs are 90 degrees to the floor. That's how you should be when you're squatting for me. That is my ideal squat position. If I haven't got a full length mirror, which I haven't, when you squat down, you can't see how deep you're going. So when I've got up to 320s each side, plus the bar, which is 140 kilo, I know I'm going down maybe three quarters of the way or so, but I can't see if I'm going enough. So what I've done is these box squats, a lot of power lifters use, and they'll use them to make sure they're going deep enough. Because in a power lift or a strength lift meet like that, if you don't go low enough, they will scrap the lift, you won't get it. So what I do is I go down, touch the bottom, touch my bottom on the bench and then come up again. That way you know you're going deep enough. And over time I've built up now and this for, for this type of training for me, box squats, 
I've got 90, uh, 24 to 60, 80, 90 kilos plus the bar, which is 110. My aim is at some point later this year is to get to 140 again, where I can go down to a full 90 degrees. So I don't feel you get the benefit if you don't go the full 90 degrees. So what I've done today, I've pyramided up, I've gone 20 each side, 30 each side, 40 each side for 10 reps. And now I'm going 45 each side. So I have no idea what I'm going to get with this one, two, three, four, five reps, but I'll do what I can. And then we progress from here. So let's go with this. And remember, I try and do all these raw, so there's no knee wraps, no belt, um, because I just feel more comfortable with my technique if I don't use them. I have used them in heavy sets before, just the heaviest ones. I've done this weight many, many times, but at this body weight, it's a new, um, new territory for me. So I'm going to see what we can do. Okay. Okay, that's something to build on. Three reps, I'm pleased with that as a start. As I've said before, I don't move the weight up until I've got to my predetermined rep range, which is 10 at the moment. That's what I'm doing with box squats. So next week I'll try and get four, five, six, and so on. For some unknown reason, there's some weeks where you just feel better than other weeks. So that's my last set of box squats for today. I'll be moving on to other leg exercises. But uh, I've done deadlift for you. I've done squats. Uh, maybe the next one will be bench press or something similar. So uh, I'll see you in the next shot. So today I'm going to have a go at the shoulder press for you to see what I can max out on. Now, I always do it on the Smith machine because of the safety catches. I've set the safety catches so that it's, if I can't get the weight back up again, it's not going to crush me. I can drop it on the safety catches. Sometimes if I've got a training partner, I'll do it with dumbbells. But when you get to a higher weight, you need help to get it to shoulder height before you press. And also with a free bar, uh, Olympic bar, again, if you get the bar down to there and push back up, if you can't get it back up, it'll crush you. There's quite a bit of weight. So I've started off with a 20 each side, uh, sorry, a 10 each side, 20 each side, 25 each side for sets of 12. That entitles me on a, a sort of 10 to 12 rep range to go for a max. Now, this is probably equaling the best I've ever done on this machine with this sort of weight. And I did this when I was at higher body weight. So this is a massive lift for me. I've no idea I'm in un uncharted territory here. So again, if I could get two, three, four, five reps, yeah, we can work with that because that's something to, to try and progress from. So stay with me on this and uh, wish me all the best and we'll see what we can do. Two, three, four. Ooh, that was tough, and that's really good for me. I'm more than over the moon with that because that's probably my best ever weight. Without going back into all my records, I don't recall if ever that I've gone 60 or more uh, kilos, and that's what that was 60 kilos plus the bar. So you're looking at least 75 kilos, possibly 80, because I don't know what the bar weighs. I'm assuming it's uh, similar to an Olympic bar, about 20 kilos. That is massive for me. I'll build on that now until I get to 10 or 12 before I increase the weight. But I am so chuffed with that weight. That is a, a massive lift for me. So uh, we'll move on and uh, 
see what comes next. So the next lift I'm going to move on to is uh, the chest. Uh, it's a dumbbell chest press on an incline. Now you can vary in the, the incline on this. Um, I usually have it sort of 45 degrees roughly. And uh, I don't do the barbell very often. Uh, one, because doing a free weight barbell, I haven't got a spotter with me. So if, if you lower that bar down and you uh, can't get it back up, you're going to crush yourself. Uh, I've got a Smith machine. I could do a bar, a bar one on there. But uh, again, the problem there is I've got safety catches on it, but I don't find that as smooth. It's in a fixed plane and you need to be able to um, bring your shoulders back and down and then just slightly bring your arms forward, which I'll show you with this one. So I prefer the dumbbell. If I get stuck with this, I can just drop them. But um, I've pyramided up here from 20, 25 and 30 K dumbbells plus the bar, the bars weigh about three kilos. So I've done sets of 12, 12 and 10. This one I'm going for now is 35 K plus the bars, which is about 38 K. These days, that's a really good lift for me. Um, I don't know how many reps I'm going to get. Uh, I'll do my best. Um, part of the problem with these is getting it up into position. I think you could lose a rep or two with the heave you have to get them into position with. So I'll do the best I can and uh, see how we go. Wish me luck. Watcha. Come on then. Watcha. Come on. Life's pretty good for me. Again, it's something to build on. Since I've dropped quite a lot of body weight in the last 12 months, my uh, weights have come down a little bit on some exercises, not so much on others. And I'm sort of trying to build back up again now. I can maintain or increase calories precisely so that I can start to gain a little bit more and I'm getting stronger by the week, by the month. But very small increments, which is uh, gain is a gain at the end of the day. So that was uh, about 38k dumbbell presses for five reps. I'm pleased with that. Every rep past that is another bonus. So the next time I'll go for six or seven or eight. Once I get to between eight and ten, I'll put another half a kilo on each side, um, and that's how you build it up gradually. Back in the day when I was a lot heavier, I could put two and a half each side, five each side and get someone who I trained with to just lift them up to me and I could press them out for four, five, six reps. And I have been up once to 50 kilo dumbbells, uh, regularly 45s. That's not going to happen again at this body weight, but I'm happy and comfortable at this body weight. So I'll keep trying to improve the best I can. So. Hope you've enjoyed these uh, these lifts. They're not what you would call mega lifts, but for me, at my body weight, uh, I think they're decent lifts. So, uh, thanks for listening.